how can we make sure that when we take such decision in such a situation between um, the the manager and subordinate that the factor of authority is not there it's a very good point you see th this is the misuse of the authority mm. authority does not mean that uh, you have uh, the right to uh, to uh, uh, embarrass people or uh, put the people in in the corner and uh, keep blackmailing them or put them under pressure uh, authority has never meant to be like that. Authority or the, uh, the management, the authorized, authorized manager, his, his main job is to coach the people for, uh, to be more productive uh, and not, not to keep blaming them. Because the worst thing is if you keep blaming your subordinates, you're actually demotivating them. Demotivation demotiva means what? Do you know that you can be a reason for changing people's life from this channel? Probably you will ask me how. I will tell you how. My name is Ahmed Khaled and I am the host of this Unleash podcast. We speak mainly around personal development and entrepreneurship. Our mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential. And this is by interviewing CEOs, entrepreneurs and coaches physically in Dubai to extract their wisdom and change your life. Now, can I ask you to do me two favors? Firstly, can you hit the subscribe button? It helps this channel to grow more than you expect. Secondly, can I ask you also to refer this channel to three of your friends who can benefit from the values of this channel and you will be the reason of changing their life. Now, you can enjoy the episode. Dr. Ibrahim, from your vast account of experience uh, across corporate, what are those uh, types of toxicity that you could spot them inside an organization? Toxicity can have different and various forms, actually. Uh, the very obvious and uh, uh, common one that we often uh, come across uh, whenever we have any kind of conflict in any company is uh, the harassment, mm. uh, bullying people. Very, very common kind of uh, 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 toxicity or very well known in, in, in uh, many organizations. Uh, another one is uh, uh, micro uh, management. Uh, this is also uh, toxic management when you when you have a manager that I mean he's looking at the nitty-gritty uh, things that you are doing and uh, he's ignoring the, the big picture. He's not looking at, at the, the big picture that why you are there and uh, why your shirt today is not uh, iron or uh, why you have red color uh, today and uh, you don't have what well, these are the uh, micro uh, management it's not useful mm. uh, and maybe the person is doing a great job uh, so th this is also th some some kind of uh, type of uh, toxicity in in organization uh, lack of transparency as well, as I said. We need to be open, we need to be uh, transparent to each other. Uh, we need to have clear policies, uh, as I said. I mean, you need to have a clear guideline between the management and, and the employees. And this is the first thing we used to do whenever we employ any uh, new employees in the company. Immediately we give him the guideline of the company. He has to go through it and he has to confirm that he has read it. And if something is not clear, he has to ask before he confirmed that he fully understood what is the guideline of the company, what is the policy of the company, you know. So uh, this, this is also some kind of uh, a toxicity if the policy is not clear to the people. Uh, something else also is uh, what we call it uh, toxic leadership. Mm -hmm. As I said, if the leadership will not look at the main objective of why the people are there and start uh, uh, blaming them or demotivating them for small little mistakes, then uh, you, you're just spreading a, a, a toxic uh, atmosphere among, uh, among the organization. So th these are different types of, of very common uh, uh, types of uh, toxicity within any organization. We should uh, be clear to uh, not to have them and to avoid them and train the people that, uh, as I said, uh, open up, open up. When you feel not comfortable, come and talk to me. Don't uh, don't think that because I'm the manager, I'm a perfect person as well. Come and talk. 
and we learn from each other. The manager has to understand that he also has to listen to the subordinates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In such case, why most of the time I see the organizations that they, they look if I have a conflict between, let's say, I'm a manager and I have a subordinate, always the, the, the voice of the authority will be higher than the less authority. So let's say I have a conflict with my subordinate or some reportees that they are coming under me, and I see it from my perspective and they see it from my perspective. Why always most of the time, I would say always, but why most of the time when it comes to the, the judgment, I would say, or the, the right, uh, this, the decision, decision. It comes always to the authority. How can we make sure that when we take such decision in such a situation between um, the the manager and subordinate, that the factor of authority is not there? It's a very good point. You see, th this is the misuse of the authority. Mm. Authority does not mean that uh, you have uh, the right to uh, to uh, uh, embarrass people or uh, put the people in, in the corner and uh, keep blackmailing them or put them under pressure. Uh, uh, authority has never meant to be like that. Authority or the, uh, the management, the authorized, ma authorized manager, his, his main job is to coach the people for, uh, to be more productive uh, and not, not to keep blaming them because the worst thing is if you keep blaming your subordinates, you're actually demotivating them. Demotivation means what? Misproduction. So you're actually spoiling the whole atmosphere in the company. You, you, and, and, and this kind of poor management, I mean, it's lack of training again. Mm. That, that, that's what the top management has to ensure that those guys who are in, in a senior position and uh, they have the power and they have the authority, they have to make sure that this authority is used in the right direction to increase the profit and the production of the company, not to uh, threaten the people or uh, let them work under stress and uh, under pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, because at the end of the day, mental stress will burn out everything, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, then the, the organization will not achieve anything. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Doctor. So uh, what is, if we can say, what is the best advice that you can give for corporate leaders to avoid such toxicity inside the organization, simply like threaten, bullying, uh, penalizing people, uh, moving to fear, all of this kind of toxicity, how can, what's this advice that you can give it to them to have this kind of self-awareness? The Phil, is, I mean, the best advice I give to any management or anybody who is in a position to lead people, please lead by setting an example. This will be the best way. Set a good example to your subordinate and see the reaction. That, that, that's my advice to anybody. I mean, don't use authority just to uh, let pe uh, create some kind of a mental stress for, for, for the people. But coaching, training, mm. set an example by yourself, and then look at the results you're going to get. And you have to understand that, I mean, all of us have gone through this. I mean, don't think that, I mean, you have been born senior. You have been born with this kind of power. So please don't misuse it. One day you were also on, on, on the other side of the table. So the, these kind of advices I always uh, tell uh, people who have in the power, please coach people. We are there to coach people, not to fire people. We are there to hire people rather than firing them. Because believe me, I mean, creating uh, the feel of security uh, among the people uh, uh, is some kind of developing the loyalty of the employees towards their employer. The, the, this is my advice to any leader or any senior management. Loyalty of the people. People, as I said earlier, they make companies, not the other way around. So please don't underestimate this by thinking that because you have power, you have authority, then you misuse them uh, in, in, in your uh, stuff that that's completely uh
poor management and not acceptable. Dr. Ray, thank you so much for coming here today. Amazing it's values. It's a pleasure. And uh, thank you. wish you all the best. Hopefully that we can meet again and do another one. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, actually, for giving me the opportunity and giving me the time. And uh, I hope I have answered as much as I can. <laughs> of course, I mean, these kind of uh, topics and uh, subjects, I mean, we can debate for <laughs> more and more time, but uh, we have been trying to be very comprehensive and uh, short. Thank yeah. you so much, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. Unleash is the bridge between my purpose and my mission. And my mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential.